excited too, Olaf. This is Arendelle's first Christmas in forever. The first of many to come. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is your good old neighbor, Nick Hicks, Spider Buzz, and Bozen Two Fan Two Thousand One here, and welcome back to another Christmas movie week, which I review some classic Christmas movie, some model Christmas movie, etc., etc., etc. Just like what I said in my Disney movie week, which I review some model Disney film and an original Disney film. But in Christmas movie week, and sometimes I review some some of the Christmas films that I haven't seen, like Love Actually and uh, and the Holdover movie, which is a Christmas with it all, another with it all Christmas movie, which. I would definitely watch it because I'm a huge fan. Honestly, guys, I'm a huge fan of the Weird Old Christmas film, like Die Hard, Violent Night, Violent Night. So happy first anniversary to Violent Night, and I would do a review of that tomorrow. Maybe we'll see, or, or even better, I could just do it tomorrow. Honestly, even better. Honestly, even better, I will do it today. Anyway, today I am doing a Christmas review. On the movie that everyone did not like, which is none other than Family Switch, came out of the of 2023. <clears throat> anyway, enough further ado, let's get this Family Switch review started, shall we? So, hey guys, I have no. <clears throat> Honestly, guys, I didn't even know that this film is going to come out on Netflix because after I saw the trailer, and I was like, you know what, part of this film will be even better than the most family film. Honestly, guys, to be honest, I'm just not a huge fan of this type of family film because, honestly, guys, um, um, uh, honestly, guys, you know what I'm saying? Um, after I saw, uh, the, uh, some of the terrible family film, like, Parano Guys and Playing With Fire, or even Alexander in the wrong title, yeah, I just losing hope for a family hope, I mean, family movie, because, honestly, guys, I used to be a fan of the family movie, but nowadays, family movie, it's just, like, your same old generic family movie, like, I can see, like, a million freaking time, and an insane family is honestly one of my favorite family movie I have ever seen for a live action at uh, a live action movie about a family. <clears throat> and so hey guys and honestly so after I heard that the actress from Wednesday is gonna be in this movie and I was like oh boy so I'm good and so hey guys and honestly honestly guys I was not planning to watch this film because honestly guys I'm just gonna wait for a couple days. <clears throat> but here's the school yesterday and and my teacher picked this film as a movie day and I was like you know what, I saw the advertisement for this, and she was like, that's awesome. So yeah, so after I watched The Family Switch yesterday as um at my job school, I gotta say, but this film was really enjoyable. That's right, this film was, this film was a great film, but this film is not a sequel of Nick Hick Awesomeness. Like, honestly, guys, when this film came out yesterday, honestly, guys, a lot of people was not a huge fan of it. Honestly, guys, this film got a 50% on Rotten Tomatoes, and I have no idea what the audience score, so let's pick up some audience score. Because once again, this film got a 50% on Rotten Tomatoes, and this film got a 54% uh, 50, for the audience. And like I said, but honestly guys, I completely, I completely understand what the critics coming from, because the critics are not a huge fan of this, of this type of film. Because like, come on, the actress from Wednesday is in this. Honestly guys, just because you have an actress from Wednesday, it didn't mean this film would be a um, huge success. But honestly guys, to be shocking enough, honestly guys, this film was in the top 10 Netflix movie on the Netflix app because that was pretty cool because this film wasn't in the top 10. So hey guys, do I have any flaws about it? Honestly guys, let's get the flaws because honestly guys, I normally, <clears throat> I normally do positive first, but let's get the negative because I want to get that one joke out of my face. So yeah, honestly guys, and honestly, honestly, the opening scene was kind of cringe. Honestly guys, there was a scene when Bill uh, performed by At Home and I like At Home, but that opening scene, uh, Walker and Bill at the opening, and they'll and they're dancing to Santa Claus Coming to Town by Jackson Five. Honestly, guys, don't give uh, honestly, don't get me wrong. I like Santa Claus Coming to Town by Jackson Five because that song play a fun of the Santa Claus too. But honestly, but this honestly, guys, the costume is absolutely embarrassing, and I definitely agree with the actress from Wednesday because apparently, honestly, guys, uh, um, honestly, guys, um, they can't do any Christmas video like um like they used to, but nowadays they're all grown up now. Because this film has some true, honestly, guys, honestly, just because, 
just because your kids don't want to do it didn't mean you have to force them. Like, come on, we're in the new generation. Honestly, guys, we don't do Christmas videos. Uh, honestly, and yeah, sure, we do some Christmas video, but most of, uh, mostly it's like un um, unwrapping present. But we don't do any dancing. Honestly, we're just half of the generation. But honestly, guys, the opening scene was honestly one of the uh, honestly one of the second worst opening. How you start in the movie, and I was like, oh no. So yeah, honestly, guys. So after I saw that scene, honestly, guys, I was completely fist bump, and I was like, oh no, bit uh oh, oh no at home. Oh my goodness, what what the heck you just did. Anyway, in the humor, honestly, guys, I don't think uh, some of the humor is just not even funny. Especially for that dog, P, I um, mean, P, um, P, and the Christmas tree. I was like, oh, no, no, that is terrible. And we can't forget the worst part of the film, which is better than the fart jokes. I am getting sick of tired of most of family film has some terrible joke, like the fart joke. Like, are you kidding me? Honestly, guys, there was a scene when Walker at the meeting and she and she just literally fought in the meeting. Are you got are you kidding me? Nobody wants to see her farting and honestly seeing girls fought on the guy that is so disgusting. It makes Remo look bad on the street. Oh my god, that is a bad thing. And on the guys in the last in the last falls I have it. On the guy uh, on the guy I Honestly, honestly, guys, honestly, um, I think the story is a little bit confusing because the story is all about the family switch. Honestly, guys, in the next day, honestly, guys, um, Bill was in the, <clears throat> was in the Woody Body, which is the actor that he was in, Teeny Meow Ninja Toy, Meow Mayhem, and he was in Good Boys, but honestly, guys, most, uh, <clears throat> mostly, honestly, guys, I already know him that he was in the Mutant Mayhem, honestly, I, honestly, I didn't, Honestly, guys, I didn't even care that he was in Good Boys. Honestly, guys, that is honestly one of the most overrated comedy movie of 2019. Honestly, there are much better comedy movie out there. Like the same one, Olaf, telling the story about Frozen 1 and Frozen 2. That is a way better than seeing Good Boys from the comedy film that came out like four years ago. And anyway, guys, and honestly, I, honestly the story is a little bit confusing. Honestly, guys, the story was was a little bit typical. Uh, typical. Typical. Uh, typical. I don't know. Anyway, this honestly, uh, this film it just feel like a generic, uh, a switching body movie, and there were a much better switching body movie. Like Soul, Soul has a much better storyline for a switching body. And honestly, guys, <laughs> honestly, guys, I gotta be honest. This film is a way better switching body than Shrek the Turd. Honestly, guys, the main reason why I'm saying that because Shrek the Turd had the switching body when Pussy Boo was in Donkey's body and Donkey was in Pussy Boo body. I do not want to see that for DreamWorks ever again. Oh my goodness. If I see that in a troll movie, I am absolutely going to be disgusted. Yeah, Nobody wants to see that, idiot. So, you guys, and that's my flaws I have for this film. The rest of the film was completely enjoyable, completely amazing. The characters, I absolutely enjoy every single character. Like Bill, honestly, guys, I gotta be honest, but this is hands down one of the best performances I have ever seen for Ed Holm. Yeah, on the guys at home. On the guys. So after I heard that at home's gonna be in it, and on the guys, I was I was kind of stepped down because after I saw the Doctor Sister Wolax and after I saw him in the Hey Noah Part Three, yeah, I just lose some hope for at home because his vacation movie was absolutely a joke. Anyway, on the guys and his performance would didn't let me down. On the guys, on the on the um after I saw the opening where he dancing and I was like. Uh, you know what? I'm part of this character would be annoying. But anyway, his performance was really good. And honestly, guys, you can see why that Ed Home was having fun with his performance. And Jennifer Gardner. I gotta be honest, but I am not a huge fan of Jennifer Gardner. I didn't like her in the Alexander and the Wong title. Honestly, guys, honestly, guys, honestly, to be shocking enough, but honestly, guys, I think Jennifer Gardner as Jess did a wonderful job of the performance. Yeah, I gotta say. But yeah, sure, even I'm not a huge fan of Jennifer Garner because Jennifer Garner is in every movie these days. But anyway, Jennifer Garner in this, she was really an awesome mom. She was a very really awesome mom, like I said. Honestly, guys, I will get to CZ in a minute because that's my favorite characters. And let's get the one actor that he was in, Teeny Mio Ninja Turtle, Mio Mayhem, as the kid. Honestly, guys, he was really amazing, but not as good as uh, he was in Raphael as it's um, from the team Mio Ninja Turtle Mio Mayhem. And the babies. His name is Mayo. Are you kidding me? What is it? My mom is from across the spider -Man? Okay, that's completely racist. Anyway, the Mayo's as the baby. I mean, Mayo the baby. He was really cute. And him in the dog's body. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. 
and his movement. Honestly, guys, I forgot to mention my flaws. Yeah, honestly, guys, I didn't like the movement that what the director was doing with the baby and the dog. Honestly, I just feel weird. It just feel weird for a family movie. And most family film has some has some stuff these days. And the dog, his name is Pickle. Oh my goodness, the dog is absolutely funny. This is hands down one. Um, uh, this is hands down one of the most funniest dog I have ever seen in the planet because that dog is absolutely funny. And yeah, sure, the only faults I have it, which and then he was peeing. He was peeing in that Christmas tree, which no way. Honestly, nobody wants to see a pickle the dog pee in the Christmas tree. That is disgusting, and we go on to vomit. Yeah. And my favorite character in this film, and this is the main reason why I watched this film, which is Ned than CC. On the guy, even is not as good as her character in Wednesday, but she was very, she was very beautiful. And all guys said, but it is hands down one of the second best performance that she ever did in her career. And I cannot wait to see her more in her future film. And to be honest, on the more I think about Wednesday, on the guys, I was almost. I was almost going to put Wednesday as my favorite show of all time, but I don't normally we watch that show, but I'm just going to keep Cobra Kai. So, Cobra Kai, my favorite show ever. Anyway. And anyway, and the cinematography. The cinematography was absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful, like I said. And honestly, guys, and some of the humor that I think is pretty funny. Honestly, guys. <laughs> honestly, guys. I'm sorry. Honestly, guys. I'm very sorry. I keep, um, I keep, um, <clears throat> I keep saying, oh, no, 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 sorry. Anyway. Like I was saying, so yeah, some of the humor was very funny, especially for the dog walking. OMG, I was completely laughing when I saw that scene, and I was completely real at the same time because nobody wants to see a dog trying to be like the human. Honestly, guys, if I see Scooby walk like a human, honestly, guys, I'm going to be laughing because dog cannot do that. <laughs> dog cannot do that. That's stu <laughs> that's stupid. That's stupid. Anyway, and the climax. Honestly, guys, this film had no climax. Honestly, guys, I'm um, honestly, guys, the ending, the ending was really, was really beautiful, and they play one of my favorite Christmas songs ever, which is the most wonderful time of the year. Yup, this film is a fantastic comedy of the Christmas film, and honestly, guys, I completely understand what the critic coming from because the critic are not a huge fan of this type of Christmas film, like Jingle All the Way, Family Switch, honestly, guys, or even some of the. Um, or even Home Alone 2, because Home Alone 2 was the only, <clears throat> was the only Home Alone movie that I got a really wide range. Honestly, guys, way before, <clears throat> way before they got Home Alone 3, Home Alone 4, Home Alone 5, and Home Sweet Home Alone. Yeah, I don't want to talk about those terrible Home Alone movies. Home Alone 1 and 2 is much better than most of the sequel. So, over, guys, Family Switch is a, it's a great Christmas film. And yeah, sure, they have some flaws, like some of the joke was not even funny, like the fart joke, like, like, are you kidding me? No, like, are you kidding me? Nobody wants to see Jennifer Garner farting in the meeting room. That is so disgusting, and nobody wants to see that in general. And seeing FEMA fart, oh my goodness, it makes FEMA look bad, like I said. Anyway, on the guys, and yeah, sure, this film has some flaws. But, honestly, guys, some of the characters was really enjoyable, and the score was absolutely amazing, and the cinematography was absolutely beautiful for a comedy family film. And to be honest, after I watched this film, I might give some of the family film a chance. Honestly, guys, honestly, guys, I am not re-watching Parental Guidance, and honestly, guys, and people, and people, oh my goodness, people. Oh, honestly, guys, that one movie starting Robert De Niro and Ben Snyder, that is not a family film. That is a PG-13 film about a Christmas movie. That's not even a Christmas film. Honestly, guys, that film has nothing to do with Christmas, and that is honestly one of the worst Christmas movies I have seen in my life. And don't worry, I would do a... I'll do a redo with a rant of that because that rant was kind of long, honestly. I might cut it to the, like, a 19 minute or 15 minute or even better, like, 10 minutes. So, hey, guys, I'm giving Family Switch a 8 out of 10. It's a great film. And sadly, this film don't deserve a seal of Nick Cake awesomeness. So, hey, guys, that was my movie review of Family Switch, a fantastic Christmas uh, Christmas movies. And honestly, guys, if you, want, honestly, guys, if you haven't seen this film, honestly, guys, just go watch it because this film is... um. This film is a puppet holiday movie that you can that that you can watch for the whole family. And honestly guys, I cannot wait to show this movie to my mom because my mom really loved this type of family film, like playing a guy and playing with fire and all that. Anyway, that was my movie review of Family Switch. And tell me about your opinion on this film on the comment section below. Honestly guys, stay tuned for my wild won't watch of the mean one, which is a whole movie about the Grinch stealing Christmas, but in the bloody version. Yeah, I don't yeah, I am not a huge fan of taking your <clears throat> 
Honestly, guys, I'm not a huge fan of taking your childhood character and turning them into like a whole stretch. I'm not a huge fan of it. Honestly, guys, that's the main reason why I'm not watching Winnie the Pooh, Blood of Honey, and I'm definitely not watching the mean one. Oh no. Oh no. Honestly, guys, the, honestly, if they green light, if they green light on and Elsa horror movie, I would definitely watch it because I love on and Elsa and I cannot wait to, I cannot wait, I cannot wait to see them as a horror character in the future. Let's hope that happens in the future. I really hope they don't green light the smurf. Oh, I was like, <clears throat> All else, all else is going to be the end of Lemberwise Shrubback's, um, hilarity, and all I got said. Anyway, if you enjoyed this film, I'm sorry, if you enjoyed this review, when you see your favorite Wednesday actress that, <clears throat> that she got switched by a family, please, I highly recommend you, you hit the subscribe button, turn the notification, and share the video with your whole family, and stay tuned for my wild watch of the mean one. Alright, have a great morning everyone, and I see you guys next time.